Hey guys, and welcome back to Dinnercraft. Today is all about bases, building, farming, and yeah, pretty much everything. We've got a lot to do. Someone, and I already know who, I'm pretty sure it was Nathan, that they've left this giant door at the front of our base. I, I, I literally saw it a few seconds ago as I loaded it in, uh, but someone left this. Pretty sure it was Nathan. I don't quite know though. I can't be certain on that. Um, We have to respond to it in some way. I don't quite have a plan yet, but we will respond in our own way. And I should add, we need to destroy a tree because we have not done that yet, apparently. Let's quickly fly down here and do that. But while I'm destroying this tree, we need to say we actually have a few... Oh, we have a few data packs enabled. A few are pretty common, you know, some stuff that other servers and all that kind of stuff have been, you know, like mob heads dropping and stuff like that, which I discovered last video. But apparently we actually have Armored Elytra, which... It's something I've always wanted in Minecraft. And apparently how it works is you actually can combine your elytra with just different armor. So we have to give this a shot. I'm going to get my netherite armor. I'm going to see if I can actually combine this with my elytra. I actually have no idea how to combine these things. Like, I, I can't do it in my inventory. Can I do it in a crafting table? No? Uh, how do you do it? Because you can't even do it in this. I thought this was going to be the thing you do it in. But no, apparently it's not. I don't know how to do it. I actually have no idea. Nathan has done it, but I don't know how to. I might have to... I just might have to Google this because I have no idea how you're actually meant to do this because obviously we have unbreaking on it, but I want to quickly add some blast protection to it. Yeah, I have no idea. So I guess while we're in... While we're just flying around doing our own thing... We'll try and figure that out later in this video, but I obviously need to think of a plan for this. But before we do that, we should head over to the shopping district where I've actually fixed up something that everyone's pretty much been asking over on the server. They've basically been asking for me to expand the bridge in the shopping district. So I, I thought, you know what? We do that. We just make the bridge look a little bit better. Uh, and that I also haven't seen really the shopping district at all recently. So let's go give it a look. This is now the new bridge. Much less just recently built and much more upgraded. I left a sign for everyone to see. I, I did lose one bit of fencing, so now it's just a little lantern at the top, but in all honesty, it's the exact same layout, uh, except now it's three blocks wide. That's it. It's much better now. Uh, along with that, Nathan has also constructed this, which is something. I don't quite know what this is. A post office. Okay, so how it seems is Nathan's actually, oh my god, Nathan's pretty much asking us to just do jobs for him. Charity bin. Char- Yo, those arrows though. Uh, no, but he's basically asking us to do jobs for him. Write in the book what you need and place a reward in box. Oh, okay. So, okay. So this is what Nathan needs, but I guess you can do your own jobs and people can take their item with their name on it, put it in the box and say that they're doing it. For example, this one, well, Nathan needs heads of players and I'm assuming you get a diamond every head you bring in. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. But while we're here, we might as well check and see if we've gotten any rewards from all of our shops. I have stocked up the netherite shop a little bit, did some more netherite hunting off camera, and I have lowered the prices back down to one block, That because I noticed they're not selling currently, so I guess let's head down here. Has Nathan fixed this yet? Has he actually fixed it? Yes, he has. All right, cool. I really, I really need to go, and I really need to go shulker boxer finding, or shulker killing, because, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we need more elytras as well. Hmm. Okay. All right. You know, oh, and okay. And our tools are starting to run low now. Right. Sorry for killing you, lol. <laughs> wow. All right. Balance is apologize. You know what, Balance? I accept your apology, but there we go. This is all we have left. We don't, we don't have many stuff. We don't have many things left, but at least I made it look nice there. Uh, have any of these sold? Yo, okay. We got a, a diamond for that. That's, wait, what? Excuse me? Oh yeah, because, sorry for killing you, lol. Okay. Yeah, no, I was about to say, did he place more of those? Uh, I don't think any of these. Yep. Cool, cool. All right. We need to get more stock for this shop. We definitely need more stock. I might in the future, I don't know. I might in the future do a live stream or something. I don't know yet. I don't, oh, hello chicken. Of how I actually want to stock up this shop. Cause they never, oh, yeah, okay. Never or end hunting takes a little bit of time. Oh, hold on buddy. So I don't know how I'm going to do it or go about it, but I guess we'll find a way to do that in the future. While I'm here, I actually noticed both of my diamond blocks are gone because I guess someone's already done it for me. They've gone and placed the diamond blocks in the Canadian hall, which is basically where we pay our tax. 
which is apparently a thing now. This is getting way too realistic. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> so let's also see if we've sold any more netherite. I don't think we will have because netherite is a bit expensive and currently like I'm balling with diamonds, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much stocked all the way up. So anyone could come buy this if they, if they really need netherite armor or netherite tools, this is all for sale. And it's one diamond block for one of these. And I think three diamonds for one of these. So yeah, pretty good deals. I completely walked past it because it blends in so well, but I think this is Balance's shop. Yo, I love the tree design. The tree looks awesome. Who's Balance? Tip jar, please, I'm poor. You know what? Sure. Um, let's tip him a diamond. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the tree. Two diamonds, a stack. So is this just selling pretty much every single block? Okay, yeah, so it's literally selling special deals. No special yet. Special deals. What's this? Five diamonds for a tire barrel. Yo, that's actually kind of good. So yeah, he's selling pretty much all the wood for two diamonds. Okay, that's not bad. All right, in the future, we might need that. But for now, I think that's enough of the shopping district because I don't really have any plans here yet. We might open a new shop in the future, but for now, we're pretty much set. What I want to do is I have actually done quite a bit of nethering off camera. Hence why this video has been taking quite a while. I've got in here three more wither skeleton skulls. And what I want to do is actually set up a little bit, not not really a net, not a wither rose farm, but more of an actual wither, yeah, a wither rose killing station, pretty much. If you guys don't know, there is an old trick you can actually do where you can basically go to the end, spawn the wither uh, below where the actual portal is to come back here, and you can just fill a room with a ton of mobs, mainly chickens we'll probably use because the eggs we can actually throw, and basically the wither will kill all of them. The wither cannot escape from that. He gets trapped in the actual bedrock, so he's an easy kill for giving us a nether star, meaning we do not need to share Chive's beacon with him. He can keep, Chive's, you can keep that beacon as much as you want. So we're pretty much set to go do this. And I want to do this in this video because, well, the other plan we have involves this thing. So we need to go do that. Um, so I guess what we're going to do now is probably go over to Nathan's base because Nathan and I are working together to build this next big project, which I talked about in the last video. And he says here that you can get eggs. For every purchase, I, I did purchase something and I don't remember if I grabbed eggs. So I'm just going to grab three stacks. But in all honesty, Nathan, you got to make the sacrifice, man. I'll, I'll pay you with these eggs. I'll pay you the eggs. Hold up. Let's just do this quickly. And let's just uh give him three diamonds for all of that. You know what? Yeah, let's give him three diamonds, but I'm also going to go to his base and get some more. <laughs> so let's uh put all these in here. He's got plenty of eggs. He's got a chicken farm for frick's sake. So let's put all those. Okay, well, I don't have much room. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to be enough to spawn in a good amount of chickens for us to uh, demonetize. Let's, yes, let's go with that. So clear, clearly, clearly Nathan's put up some gates as, prote as protection. All right, all right, so he's got some cows here. Where has he put, oh my God, I don't know how he has all these animals in here. Where has he put, okay, some more eggs. We need as many eggs as we can get because like I said, we need to spawn as many of these chickens as we can. Bro, okay, yeah, let's just grab more of these eggs. We need as many eggs as we can get, bro. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take as many as we can get. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for all of these animal farms. Like, this is just weird, dude. This is just so weird. All right, at least he's, at least he's being productive, I guess. <laughs> Before we actually go and do this in the end, I just realized how to actually do this elytra combination thing. Apparently, all you got to do is chuck them over an anvil. And I don't feel safe doing this. This feels something like it's going to break. So... That. And what, did that do it? Netherite chest plate. Okay. So what, does this? Yep, it's now, now we got full armor. That's kind of cool. I, we, I wish it made it so the chest plate still appears on you. But there we go. We have now combined this with the netherite chest plate. Obviously, should have actually put blast protection on before I did this. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We still got full armor. We should be a lot safer against anything now and wait i just realized does that mean my elytra won't burn does that mean my elytra is lava proof because i need to get actually wait no these don't break into nether warts do they these are like uh some different thing nether wart block damn it i was really hoping i could turn that into nether wart okay that's fine we need to go get some nether warts because we need to make some awkward potions which can then get turned into potions of poison blah 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 all that kind of crap over here is when Nathan and I have actually started, mainly Nathan, I should say, because Nathan's been hard at work on this, of actually spawn-proofing a nether, a nether fortress, I should say. Uh, so if we go down here, you guys will see all of the work here is done. 
I've done a little bit of it, not much. I helped at the very start, but he's done so far all of this. We still have those bridges to do and even this land over here because this is where our Wither Skeleton is going. Oh, Wither Skeleton Farm is going to go. It's going to be pretty big, pretty cool. I'm excited for it. I hate this place because of the blazes. The blazes can suck it. I hate them so much. Look at them freaking trying to hit me even though they're not going to have a chance. But this place is pretty cool. But this right here is what we need. So I'm just going to quickly break all of this. There we go. Got an awkward potion. And then I should just put a spider's eye in there. And this should make it a potion of poisoning. And then I put gunpowder in. And then we've got a splash potion. Now, to speed things up, because I should make multiple of these. I think to just make it slightly faster for myself, I'm going to grab actually some seeds so that I can bring all the chickens to me. And that way, it will just make it so they're all with me. I can throw the potion down. I will get poisoned, but I will need to probably actually take a bucket of milk with me. And yes, potion of poisoning. Gunpowder. Yes, dudes. All right, let's quickly grab while we're at it. Just uh, just a bucket. Go find a cow quickly while that's cooking up, I guess you could say. Go. Let's grab our splash potion of poison. Put that there. We've got tons of eggs. Let's also, while we're at it, just grab some trap doors. That way we can pretty much make an easy entrance for ourselves. And I guess that's pretty much it. We don't really need anything else. So let's head over to the end. And actually, while we're at it, just quickly place all of the stuff we probably don't need on us back in these chests and head over to the end and basically start construction of this little area where we're going to kill the wither. Because, yeah, wait, do I have any salt? Before I even think about going there, let's just grab some soul sand. There we go, soul sand. There we go. <laughs> all right, so let's head over to the end and actually start making this little spawn room for all these chickens. While we're at it, let's actually... Oh, wait, two diamonds. Okay, cool. And ender pearls. <laughs> we really need to make a new storage system for this. I did plan it out last video, so we might also do that later on. But for now, let's head over to the portal because if you guys haven't seen this method, how it works is you basically build a giant room, or not giant, just a bit of a room underneath the actual end portal frame to come back. So you build it underneath that over there. I'm trying not to piss any of these endermen off because I seem to always seem to do that. Uh, but right here, unless someone's actually already done it. Has someone already done it? No, I thought someone had already done it, but we build it underneath this and we basically have a nice little room for us to kill the wither in without the wither pissing me off. <laughs> so let's quickly get all the way under this and we probably just want it to be, I'm pretty sure you want it to just be two blocks beneath it. Yeah, like this. So the layout of where it goes is pretty much that. This should be where the actual wither should spawn. You need its tail to be in the middle of this platform. This is pretty much it. We've got two blocks at the back Two blocks at the front. We've only got one block on the side, so let's just quickly mine this wall out. But pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to spawn tons of chickens down here, spawn the wither, and the wither should get stuck in this, meaning he can't hurt me or anything like that. This could go completely wrong, and I could really screw over the server. So hopefully, hopefully we don't do that. Uh, but let's quickly break this. There we go. And see how many chickens we can actually get with this. I want to try and quickly block this off, so then we actually kind of have a get, not really a safe, it's not really safe. It's definitely not safe, but at least then we'd have a a way out. Oh man, but at the same time, I don't really, mm, there we go. And uh, then there, there. All right, cool. So this is gonna be a little exit area uh, if we really need to. There we are. <laughs> and I guess let's just get to throwing all of these chicken eggs. And before we do that though, we will box this up. This could go so wrong so quick. I'm really hoping it doesn't though. So let's just throw all of these eggs and see how many chickens we can get. Cause we need quite a bit. I do not know how many we're gonna get. We need quite a bit of chickens though. And so far we ain't getting lucky. I mean, all honesty, I could just leave the chickens in here. And then once they grow up, I could just breed them because then the seeds would pretty much be the quickest and easiest method for that. There we go. But yo, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be one chicken every 12. Oh yo, okay. But oh no. No! <laughs> All right, maybe I won't throw them at the wall because that is a bit of a bug, but I guess I'll cut for when we've got the amount we would have. I, I still don't know how many we're actually going to have with this, goddamn. And that is it. <laughs> All right, hold on, let's get, let's get the seeds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. So, wait, oi, buddy. Yeah, yeah, come over here. Oh my god, just hearing their foot. <laughs> no, just hearing their feet. <laughs> Oh my god, all right, that's great. Look at them. So those, I don't really like saying this out loud, but those are going to be Wither Roses soon. <laughs> oh man, that sounds so bad saying that. What I might do real quick is I might just quickly go put all my stuff in a chest in case this does go wrong because it can so easily go wrong. This can so easily go wrong. I could lose everything. I don't want to lose everything. I, I enjoy everything that I have. So <laughs> I'm going to probably really quickly just 
Mm, I don't trust these guys though, these bastards. I don't trust you bastards. All right, let's uh, let's just quickly lean. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so cool. Oh my God, they've all just combined. All right, we obviously could have gone way more, but for basically nearly two inventories worth, I think that's a pretty good amount. I think that's a pretty good amount. Let's just quickly, that's not the, that's not the exit. All right, let's just quickly do that and try and get out of here. There we go. So yoink, yoink. All right, there we go. <laughs> let's, let's head up and just go store all of our stuff somewhere. Oh man, I'm tempted to just leave them there. <laughs> People will come into the nether or into the end and be like, why am I hearing chickens? <laughs> I just realized, will they despawn? I really hope they won't despawn. Oh man, I guess what I could do actually is I could just quickly chuck everything in this chest. I think that's it though. I think that's all we really need. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. I think. Oh wait, and of course the Wither Skulls. <laughs> of course, fuck. All right. We've got everything now. We're all set to go down and see if we can actually get this to work. I, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm petrified. These chickens are all sticking together pretty well. Actually, like, look at that. All of them are grouped up. All right. Oh, yeah, okay, I got them over to me. So I'm trying to think the best way to do this. I guess place that and that. We still need to poison the chickens. So let's just quickly do, okay. I guess let's just quickly do this. Oh man, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. All right, they're all low on health. And now that, all right, cool. And now I should just do this. And this should kill them. I'm sorry guys. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. All right, let's just bring them closer. Here we go. And one hit. Yes, it worked. Okay, it actually worked. Yo, yes. Yo, we got over a stack. All right, now we just gotta kill the wither. So let's just put the shield on. And let's just quickly kill the wither. Yes, dude. Dude, that actually worked. I am so shocked that worked. We have got over a stack of wither roses. Yes. All right, that's all we needed. All right, let's just quickly kill this guy. So yes, he's dropped down. He's stuck. He can't go anywhere. Dude, dude, come on, come on. This is easy, easy. <laughs> all right, and you are about to die. Yoink, Yo. Oh, yo, yo, I got, oh, yo, I also got a wither head and my own nether star. But of course the, the star of the show is the wither roses. This is probably gonna be our, uh, where was it? This one? No, I, I always do that. All right, this is gonna be our wither killing section for now until Nathan and I can actually construct a automatic killing thing <laughs> for the wither because that is pretty easy to kill him. That is so easy for us to kill him, holy crap. In all honesty, that was pretty good. Yo, hold up. Actually, I've just got to see something. Let's just quickly take that off. <laughs> yes, bro. I'm so happy we actually got the invulnerable with a head. That is so cool. I thought we were just going to maybe, if we did get ahead of it, I thought we'd just get the normal wither skull or the wither head, I guess you could call it. Yo, that is awesome. All right, let's quickly give ourselves all the items back and put the wither roses in there. I am so shocked that that actually worked. Basically, first try. We have got to do that again in the future. But well, let's head back to the base and I'll, I'll just give myself some fireworks. Yo, let's head back to the base and actually make this beacon because I, st I still don't have a beacon. I still don't have a beacon. So let's head back. Yes, and start construction of this. I'm pretty sure I remember how one, how you make one. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's literally just glass, obsidian, a nether star, and that's it, right? I think, God, man, I do not remember this. Hold up. I completely forgot I actually had the obsidian on me. So let's grab all of this. There we go. Let's go over to the crafting table. So I'm pretty sure it's literally just that, then this, and then that. And there we go. We've got ourselves a beacon. I'm pretty sure to get the achievement, you need to light it up. So we still need to construct that. But I guess what we want to do now is because we've got this all set up and we've got all of these wither roses right there. This is These are all the wither roses we need for our wither skeleton farm. So then we can actually make more beacons by getting more wither skulls. So we can then make more bi uh, withers so that we can kill them. and. Yo, this is gonna be awesome. I need to let Nathan know I've got some wither. Uh, we were originally gonna make a wither rose farm that was actually con like constantly operating. The problem with that is I think people could have just made like gone to our farm thing and just taken wither roses and constructed their own wither farm. And well, we need to make some money. So <laughs> this is all about finance and money. Even though Nathan pranked me with the stupid door, this is all about finance and money and working together. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is I guess the only thing to do is message Nathan, let him know about that. And I, hmm, I, 
can either work on my Enderman farm or continue construction of spawn proofing all of the nether. You know what? We might continue construction of spawn proofing the nether. I guess what you guys are about to see is actually a time lapse of me in the nether going over everything I can, spawn proofing it. But I might actually need to do a bit of mining before that because I do not have many slabs. As you guys can see in here, I've only got these slabs. I've got some wooden slabs like down here. We need way more. So I guess what I might do before that is some mining and then spawn proofing. So I guess you guys are about to get a pretty big time lapse. So I'll see you guys right after I've done all that. So we've got quite a bit actually done here. I filled up a bit more of the, the blank areas that were actually around here, like this spot, a little bit more of that bridge and that spot right there. But of course, the main thing I started doing was this whole bridge section into this, because if you guys don't know how withers work is they actually spawn on basically bridges. And there was a crossroads here, which is how this farm is meant to work. And the problem is, I actually don't think this is a correct crossroad. I'm pretty sure the crossroad I need is this one right here. Pretty sure this is the crossroad I actually need. And as you can tell with the skeletons are spawning here. So maybe even that crossroad, which is closer to all the actual land, meaning we need to get more slabs and everything. So I, I started sitting, I started looking back at it and going, you know what? This is gonna take a bit longer. And hey, at least stuff is spawning here. Cause as you can see the pig has spawned here, but I thought this is gonna take probably a bit longer than I anticipated. So I thought, you know, what, what we might do instead is considering we are pretty good. We've done quite a bit of progress here. We got rid of that wooden door. We've, we've done quite a bit already of building and breaking. I think we can head back into the end and actually start work on, I guess, a bit more of a storage space for all of our ender pearls and enderman heads. So I think we can do a bit more, I guess you could say, end work. I will admit, this is partially terrifying, not going to lie, but I think we are all set <laughs> oh okay this is actually terrifying and there we go all right cool we have got a little way up a little lock off now those are the chests we've got so look at this look at that bro they're all cleared out oh man this is so neat all right let's just put those back in there um i guess we'll install the rest of them let's just grab this this and this i am actually petrified of falling so i am going to always hold these fireworks on me there we go let's go down here and I guess let's just do that. That's how it is, right? Yeah, that's how it is. That is definitely how it is. And then, oh man, this is this is terrifying. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to think of how this is going to do it. So then that, and then place the chest there. And then just to speed things up, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, and then place that there. Uh, yeah, see, I don't have much room down here. So it's a little terrifying. It is actually a little terrifying. So let's just do that. Okay. Okay. Now let's just do this. Oh, of course, I made it so they're not actually flat. Oh yeah, because Enderman was spawn on them. All right, let's go up. We go. I am just terrified that I'm going to fall for some stupid reason because the server's going to lag or some crap like that. Uh, but yeah, I don't have my pick on me. That's fine. We can do this the slow way. I don't mind. Okay, that's it. That should be it. That is all good. I'm pretty sure we have everything. Just to be on the safe side again, I will do this and then put a little step there. And I. I think we are set. We should be set. Let's just actually no, because Enderman can spawn in here. That's why I'm. That's why I haven't done that. And wait, these blocks. Oh man, now I'm really confused. Okay, okay. So they're blocks. That's fine. So that, build that to there. Okay. 
This is fine, right? This is fine. Okay, cool. Ender Dimension spawn here because the ladder, I think. So I think that's fine. But there we go. This is our Enderman farm. And look at this. It's already filling this up. And now we can head up here. We can look in this chest, which is actually going through pretty quickly. Those ones are empty. Dude, this is so cool. Ah, this is so cool. Wow. All right, cool. So we've got tons of space. For basically all of the Ender Pearls and everything. Um, I think to make it look a little bit neater, I might just add like these because then you can't like move left and right, but you can still open the chests. I think that'll look just a tad neater. So we might just do that. Um, and you, you can't fit in that. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, you'll be able to fit in that one. That's for sure. All right, cool. There we go. Just to make it look a bit nicer. There we go. And I think the final one will be down there. And then let's just match that, I guess. So now I just have to look at every single side that I did and see what I did for it. Oh no, well, that's already off. Okay, great. That should be it. That is complete. Uh, I guess we can just quickly make it look a little bit neater by doing that and that, I guess. There's nothing really else to do though. Because if you look down here, these are all complete. It goes all the way down and yeah, this is already starting to fill up, but hey, this is cool. This is gonna be tons of storage for now until, if this starts getting full, which it eventually will, of course, because these are empty. But once this does get full, I will probably add that mechanism at the bottom, which you can flick the lever and it will start disposing of the ender pearls. But for now, that will probably do. Let's just quickly grab this. Okay, good. Woo, and actually give this a test quickly. So yoink. There we go, cool. <laughs> 31 levels of XP. You know, just quickly take these guys down while we're here as well. There we are, 31 levels of XP and everything is fully repaired again. Dude, oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys, you know what? We have done quite a bit in this video, so this is probably where I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys did enjoy this nonetheless. Next video is probably trying to finish off this with a skeleton farm, and hopefully I can actually get our, technically our second built shop, but our third store in the shopping district up. If you guys have any suggestions for things you want me to do in the series, please let me know by leaving a comment, uh, comment down below. I was gonna say a comment section down below, but that doesn't make much sense. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. My name is Troy, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.